Just destabilizing it a little bit. It does tend to work better with larger fins. Hi, I'm Michael Thompson, otherwise known as Glider Guider One on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you an advanced walk along glider design. A walk along glider with a propeller. In addition to the common items that you see down below here, you're going to need a twist tie and printer paper to make your propeller. We're going to prepare the twist tie for the propeller. Take this piece and strip about half of it off. Cut just along either side of the wire. Before we remove the remaining center strip, we need to fold the other end over to prevent the paper material from slipping off the wire. This is going to be the propeller hub of printer paper. This is the propeller spacer. Start with the square propeller hub. So I'm just trying to get that very edge curled up. Now I'm starting to get this all into a curl here. So now you can see it's a very loose roll. I continue rolling it tighter and tighter. I am trying to keep it round so I flatten down on any parts that feel like they're sticking out. Now I apply pressure only when rolling this in one direction because if I continue the pressure while unrolling it the other direction, it's going to unroll. Now glue it shut so the tube doesn't unravel. After the glue is dried a little bit, apply more glue to the outside of the tube and center it on the blade. Now I'm going to take the 1 quarter inch by 1 eighth piece of paper to make the propeller spacer. Now with this propeller spacer, it may look like I'm rolling it both ways, but again, I am only applying pressure when I am rolling it in one direction to tighten the spiral. Glue it shut. After the glue is dried a little bit, I'm taking the propeller spacer and I'm going to cut the very end of it off because there's a tiny piece of paper sticking out the end. The scissors may crush the tube and you may have to re-roll it to make it round again. Our next step is going to be to twist the propeller blade so that this propeller will turn when it is flying. If we put the propeller on without the spacer, it is going to be very likely to catch on the edge of the twist tie material. This propeller spacer, I have that cut flat end facing away from the wire. Notice the curvature of the blades. I need to slide it on with that concave curvature facing forward so that it catches the air more effectively. Check the edges where the tubes meet for any imperfections. You may want to press those imperfections in with your fingernail or possibly cut them off if they're bad enough. We need to bend the end of the wire up to prevent the propeller from falling off, leaving a little bit of an extra gap so that the propeller spins freely. Now those first couple flights, it was stalling a little bit, so we need to add a little more weight to the front of the glider. Go. A little harder to turn. Once you've made a walk-along glider with multiple propellers, you can make a walk-along glider with counter-rotating propellers. If you want to make a standard jagwing design like this, click here. If you want to make a modular walk-along glider that comes apart for easier storage, click here.